keep your makeup in place without losing your glow. Chelsea Vice is here to show you how. <laughs> Delphine. So I, I guess the issue is that we want our makeup to stay, but we want the glow to stay as well. And we don't want all the cakiness happening in our lines. So help us out. Right. Because a lot of women, they say, I want to use setting powder because I know it makes my makeup last longer. Yeah. But I feel like it makes me look dry, yeah. can accentuate my lines. And most powders are with a matte finish. So we're gonna show you how to do that. So first of all though, why use a setting powder? Okay. You know, why couldn't I just continue after my foundation without setting? Yeah. So if you were to put your blush or bronzer right on top of your liquid foundation, yeah. it's gonna absorb it, yep. right? That's gonna disappear in no time. Mm -hmm. So it is really important to set. Okay. But how do we make it glowy? Yes. So today we're gonna use a banana powder. A banana powder. A banana powder. So okay. first of all, I will tell you no real bananas are used to make this powder. <laughs> okay. okay. It's banana because of that yellow tint. Okay. Right? And that yellow hue is great because it really adds that brightness to the complexion. Yes. On all complexions. Oh, good. So from our fairest to our deepest skin tone. Do you ever find if you use powder, sometimes you look a little chalkety, ashy? Chalkety, chalkety, ashy. Yeah. Yes. Yep, yep. So that's so, good if it's going to go in and still be warm. Yes. Oh, absolutely. It okay. adds that warm luminosity. But also, you'll see here, when I apply it onto my skin and kind of buff it, mm -hmm. it adds a brightness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see it. And a glow, but without being too glowy. Okay. Like you could wear this <laughs> over your whole face yeah. without it being like, whoa. Right, okay. walking around like a light bulb. Yeah, because so maybe you're things, not looking for that. You yeah, just want a little luminescent, from the moon, right? right. Um, so that glow, but being reasonable. Okay. So a few things about the application. Yeah. I'm going to use the puff that actually comes in the powder. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people, when they apply their setting powder, they use a brush. Yeah. And they're going like this. What's wrong right? with that? And they're buffing. So say you've covered like a pimple or a sunspot. Mm -hmm. You've now moved that powder yeah. or that foundation. Yeah. So when I powder, it's always a pressing padding motion. Yeah. It's always rolling it onto the skin to keep that foundation in place. I also love the puff for a couple of reasons. It's giving me, you can see, a good amount of powder. So we know that we're really going to see the results. But also, you can really manipulate when you hold the puff. So I'm going to have Delphine look up for me. And I can really set under the eye. Okay. Right? Make sure I'm getting the powder exactly where I want it in the little crease of the nose. Sometimes we get a bit shiny there as well. Mm -hmm. So the other thing about the banana, mm -hmm. having that yellow tone, under eye circles tend to be purpley blue. Right. Yellow and purple opposite on the color wheel. Yeah. So that's going to help to brighten up that under eye. Good. So with your setting powder, you do want to let it sit on the skin for about a minute. And is it going to sort of right? look like that? Like that's okay if you can yes. see it? For now. For now. Don't leave the house. Don't. <laughs> this is okay at home. For now. For now. Okay. So you want to let it sit for about a minute on the skin. Yes. Um, this is really going to secure, set that makeup in place. Okay. Especially for the under eye, right? Yeah. You ever wonder halfway through the day, why is it now settling into your creases? Yeah. You didn't set long enough. Okay. So now we can use the brush because everything has been secured in place. Mm -hmm. And I like to kind of buff with the brush because the brush is going to kind of almost activate that luminosity okay. into the powder. So you can see it's going to stay. She's got that nice set makeup, but now it's going to be with more of that glowing finish. A little bit of glow. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay, so a lot of it is about the application. Use that sponge instead of the brush. Yep. But and, do use and your setting sit. powder. Okay. Um, so now her makeup's going to stay on for, you know, up to 16 hours. Amazing. Smudge transfer resistant. Yes. However, Sometimes powder still doesn't work even if it's a luminous powder. Okay. You're a little bit dry in the cheeks. What if there's an area you don't want to use any powder? Okay. No problem. Let me tell you guys about setting sprays. Okay, so that's important. Can you use yes. both? Yes. So here's a great option uh, with a setting spray and how to use both. Mm -hmm. But I first want to give Delphine some color back in her face. Sure. So we're going to just quickly go with a little bit of a blush and bronzer because setting spray should be the last step of your makeup. Right. Because it's, uh, you know, the nice thing about setting spray versus setting powder, it's setting all the elements of your makeup. It's gonna set now her blush, bronzer, mm. brows even. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have Delphine close, and we're gonna mist. The setting spray too has a little bit of aloe vera, so very conditioning nice. to the skin, anti-inflammatory, soothing, yeah. and instant glowy, dewy look.
Lovely. So say you do find your makeup does look a little bit powdery yeah. or you are feeling a little bit dry, a quick mist of that setting spray, really going to set that in place. Can you do that if you've had on the makeup for a while? Can you just do a set? I love with that. With the spray? Because not always having to reach for your powder. Yeah. That's when you can start to look cakey. Totally. It's the third time during the day you're putting on the powder, mm -hmm. you're going to see that. Mm -hmm. But I want to show you that the set, uh, setting spray does still have good staying power. On Delphine, we've put two swatches of blush, just yep. to show you. Sprayed it already with the setting spray. That's all we have here. And look at this. Oh, like that's you think amazing. you're not gonna get that staying power from the setting spray? You do. How's she getting it off tonight? <laughs> <laughs> She'll get it. But a good tip to remember yeah. is that we used the powder yeah. to set the liquid foundation. Right. And then we used the liquid to set the powder products, got the it. blushes and the bronzers. So tag teaming those together, yes. you have got the longest wear possible. If you just want powder, great. If you just want setting spray, you got options, you got glow, and you got makeup that lasts. So good, Chelsea. Yeah. Oh.